The last part of your assignment is to make graphs to see how, to vi better visualize how your hard earned is going to be spent. So we have three categories to graph, your housing, your commuting, and your other. Um, all right, so first simply make a graph of your housing, highlight the items, go to pie graph, and select a pie graph, and there you have your pie graph. Then you can move it somewhere on your screen, maybe size it down a little. Do the same thing for your commuting. Uh, then you go insert pie graph. So there's your, there's a nice graph for your um, expenses for commuting. And then you can, you can move this graph out of the way. Then you can also graph other expenses. And remember, this is itemized to your needs, not anyone else's but yours. Insert a pie graph. And then you can move that one out of the way as well. Oops. Here, grab the pie and move it out of the way. Now, um, you need to make a graph of the subtotals. Well, the subtotals, you can't just graph like that because if you tried to graph it, it would look like this. It doesn't look like anything. So you have to um, copy those values down. So I'm going to copy this, place it here. I'm going to copy this number, control C, then go here and paste special values. So then it pastes the number. If you just try to paste, it will give you an error. So here, and the reason it gives you an error is because this, in fact, is a, is a formula. All right, so here we, we copy this, num this uh, text. I'm going to spread that out just a little bit. And then I'm going to copy, click here, pay special values. OK. And so now we have our subtotals here. We can then graph it and by making a nice pie of your subtotals, which is very interesting, I think, because you can see what a big piece of the pie this commuting, your car expenses are right here as compared to your other and housing expenses. So I'm going to move that one out of the way. Just scroll it out of the way. Move it down. Come on. Move it out of the way over here. Oh. Oh. Move it out of the way. There we go. Now the last thing to do is to make a graph of all your expenses. So I'm going to copy and paste, copy, control C, control V, copy, control C, control V. Now you have all your expenses and we can graph these like so, insert a pie graph for it. And there you see all the expenses for all your items in your budget.